Good afternoon. Peace be with you. Every time I meet members of the Amadea Muslim community, I learn something new, and the conversation involves your strong commitment to humanitarian work. Your community does so much to help others, so I'm very much humbled by this award, and I'm honored. I'm also very honored and privileged to lead Durham Habitat for Humanity. As Sue mentioned, we build and sell affordable homes in partnership with the families buying our homes and thousands of volunteers, many of whom don't know how to build homes. We don't have enough affordable housing in our community, so what we build is really important. The beautiful thing about Habitat's model is that we bring people together to build homes. In a world that seems so divided and in many ways broken, I love this part about Habitat. I believe stereotypes and labels are a huge problem. Pundits or newspapers tell us who the problem is or what other groups think, and too many people believe them. They don't get to know one another. They read about the other people in the news, but they don't get to know them. A mentor of mine once told me, ideas divide and projects unite. Ideas and labels divide us and projects unite. Habitat, Habitat brings people together to build affordable homes. Building an affordable home is a perfect project to unite. I first met my friend Hadi Ahmed about five years ago with the Durham Habitat Interfaith Build at a build we called the Hospitality House. We intentionally invited all parts of the Durham community to come together to build one home, a home we sold to a woman named Singh and her beautiful family. We invited each group that came out to build to bring a t-shirt or a banner, and we hung those banners on the wall of our tool container. We called it the Wall of Unity. During the build, we scheduled an interfaith day, a day we invited Muslims, Christians, Jews to come together and build at Habitat. We've been scheduling those regularly at least once a quarter ever since. We just had one on June 30th. As we build together, we get to know each other. We learn about each other's family. We break bread together. This past couple of weeks ago, we shared blessings from each faith. We helped two volunteers that day celebrate birthdays, and we sang happy birthday in different languages. As we work, we talk, and we recognize that many, we have many more things in common than we have differences. As we get to know each other, we gain an understanding of the nuances of our faiths and we can appreciate and honor our community's diversity. We build homes, yes, and in the process, we build relationships. We build friendships, we build greater understanding. We build a stronger community. On that day four or five years ago that I met Hadi, I also invited a Habitat home, part, home buyer partner, a man named Dan, to build with us, and he reluctantly joined me. I'd like you to meet Dan and hear the power of our interfaith builds in his own words. I'm a veteran of the war in Iraq. Um, I served in the military from 2001 to 2006. Um, I am a combat soldier, uh, having served uh, during the invasion and just after the invasion. I'm a single dad, so my daughter's four years old and she needed to be in a preschool. And we stumbled on a place called East Durham Children's Initiative. Um, through East Durham Children's Initiative, uh, we got linked up with the LEAP Academy. And through the LEAP Academy, we got linked up with Habitat. Not too long ago, I had an opportunity to work with Habitat on an interfaith build. I hate to admit it, but I, I, I questioned myself about going to the interfaith build that day. PTSD does a lot of crazy things to a person. I think for every person, it's a little different. There's a lot of different therapies out there that I've been through for this. That interfaith build provided a lot more for me that day than the VA Medical Center ever could have. I got to meet some great Muslim people. I got to learn about their faith and work side by side with them, and they worked side by side with me. They knew my story and I heard their story. And I went home that day not feeling defeated as I anticipated, but feeling happy and uplifted about the day and really uh, proud of myself for having took a step in the right direction.
Ideas divide us, labels divide us, and projects and better understanding can unite us. Thank you, Amadea Muslim community, for honoring my team at Durham Habitat, our broader Habitat for Humanity International team, and me with this honor. Thank you all for your excellent humanitarian work. And thank you, Hadi, for our partnership.